Jenga. Well, actually not actual Jenga, but building blocks of some kind. Is this a weird video idea? Yes, I'm building balancing towers of Jenga. Why am I doing this? Because the other day, when I went to go see my brother, we played Jenga, and I apparently found it more fun to balance blocks in weird ways. And so I decided, why not do a video out of that? Because I have no better ideas, to be honest. Actually, I probably do have better ideas, but better ideas take better work, and I don't have time for that right now, so this is what we're doing. If you're wondering literally what this video is, is yes, I'm literally just going to be building stack towers out of Jenga blocks, or I guess technically, again, not Jenga, because it's not, not, not sponsored by Jenga, but also not, this is an actual Jenga brand, because that's copyrighted. I'm not going to show you the excruciating process of me building all of them, but I will definitely be cutting in the interesting parts, because, oh, I didn't think about how these might actually go out of frame. Um, one like this might, at least. Is it, no, it's still in frame for now. I actually, well, okay. The end goal of this is probably what you see in the thumbnail, where I want to build one that expands out. But for now, let's just build the opposite. Let's just start with one that everyone knows. The other thing about this is that it's nice to just be able to sit and build something and maybe talk for a minute or something. That's something that's pretty nice about this. I should mention that this is the first time I'm actually using a lav mic on the channel. I have several recordings with these lav mics, I just haven't published any of them, because a lot of them, some of them were test recordings, and other ones are ones that I plan to use when I go on my vacation. I don't know why I decided to plan lav mic testing videos as some of the first ones I want to use for my vacation when I do take one, and I don't even know if I'm going to use those because they're trash, because I forgot to set a timer, which I have right now. Um, that timer, is for when my camera stops recording automatically because it doesn't make a sound when it does. So, you know, sometimes I just have to go over to my camera and wake it up, tell it to keep recording again. So I have to make sure to actually get all the footage for a video, I have to set a timer. And I haven't been doing that in the past when I've recorded like this using lav mics. Now, I don't have to do that for gaming videos or anything like that because I have it hooked up to my computer where I'm recording through OBS, not through the camera itself. But when I take the camera away from the computer, I do, in fact, have to do that. So let's see if I can recreate that tower that I did at the beginning of the video on top of this. This thing is a little shaky. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> um, all right, well, we'll just leave it there then since I want to do this to where people can actually see what I'm doing. But I'll build out to the side here. Why not? Oh cool, I didn't know that I had a perfect number of blocks to make this, which actually perfectly fits on screen. It's actually kind of cool. Um, it doesn't need this, right? Oh, yeah, it didn't need that. Yeah, this is pretty much the video. Uh, this is what you've signed up for. You're in it now, you can't click off the video. I mean, it just that's just not how this works. Once you click on a video, you can't just click off of it. That's, I don't know if you knew that, but that's just not how YouTube works. And if you do that, then someone is on their way to your house right now. <laughs> and I am not associated with them in any way, but you will get what's coming to you. All right, now, moving on. How do I do this? I used to, I did a thing where I actually was able to build out like an expanding tower. Let me see if I can figure that out. Because I swear it's doable. It's definitely doable. Now the thing is, I know for a fact that if I put pieces here, then I think I got it. I remember now. So can I do this? I can. It actually does let me do that. Oh, but this thing is not, this thing is not balanced properly. Okay, but the good news is I figured it out. So now I can build a tower that should, should work. So the key to building such a tower, besides just having it balanced, is even weight distribution. 
So this is now not evenly weight distributed, but it's luckily balanced enough that it can handle it at the moment. But you've got this little divot in the center now because of that, but it should be able to handle the counterweight now. Should is the key word there. Fuck. <laughs> Just don't, okay. Whew, okay, there we go. So yes, as I was saying, oh, I remember what I did now. I did it wrong. It's fine, I'm gonna keep going like this and see if I can't build something out of this. But the key to this is keeping the weight balanced. Because before, when I just tried to put blocks on the end here, it outweighed this block in the center and just knocked off the top half of this thing. But since I have another block here on the middle, we have proper weight distribution except this one. Oh, I don't wanna... Uh, my, my perfectionist side is ruining me right now. But I know it's going to be useful if I can make the thing taller. Yes, I am a child inside. And this is sometimes how I spend my free time. I should be able to put that there. Right. Okay. Now there's more weight in the center. Can I... Not without more blocks. Okay. Um, how do I do this <laughs> at the same time? That is not going to work. Whew. I don't know how that stayed up. Don't worry about it. It's fine. This is everything's fine. Why? Why did you fall over? I didn't expect to get angry today, but I actually feel like, I really feel like I'm going to now. Okay. Why is that happening all of a sudden? Because I know if I put these here. Yeah, that, that, just, that happens. Okay, hold please. I have to figure out how, how I actually did this in the past because I don't remember, but I know that I had a way where I could build an expanding tower out. I think I have something promising here, right? Because now I have a support in the middle. I should be able to just build this up. Okay, so I think that's all I needed was that center support beam, except of course, as soon as I decide to start talking again and I think I've made progress, I knock it all over. You know that legendary rage game, um, getting over it with Bennett Foddy? This honestly kind of reminds me of that because it's just the process of beginning and starting over, over and over and over again. Trying to build what I'm trying to build, which again, I don't think I actually clarified, is trying to build a reverse tower like I built towards the beginning of the episode, the one that goes like this. I'm trying to build the reverse. I'm trying to make it go out. And it won't look exactly the same. It's going to look very different, actually. It's very hard to do. But it is possible. 100% possible. And I know it is. Because as long as it's balanced, it can all rest on this one peg. It's just a matter of weight distribution and balance, which is like the same thing. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm some super genius talking about this stuff, but I think that's perfect. Now there are little things that I can't control. There we go. There are little minutiae that I can't control, little divots in each little block, difference in the grain and everything like that. Little tiny things that are going to change the weight of these blocks that I can't do anything about, and we just have to hope that that doesn't destroy this creation. Now, I don't think that if I put more blocks on right now, it will stay up. So I'm going to put another in the center for weight support. Although I love this center weight support block, I need it to change at some point. Because at a certain point, um... It's going to cause a huge issue because its balance is going to get worse and worse as it gets higher up. Good to know. It's about the it's about the height of five of these blocks, but it's not perfect. So there's no way I'm linking that thing back up with the rest of the structure. It's just going to be a high beam in the center of the structure. And that's just the way this version of the structure is going to be. 
No, god damn it. Oh god. <sighs> yep, this is gonna be fun. I thought this would be fun. It's a lot less fun than I thought it was. It was much more therapeutic when I was doing this when I was with my brother while we were playing Jenga. It was much more therapeutic. Right now, it's just infuriating. Probably the most difficult part is putting these blocks on at the exact same time. If any of their weight shifts at all, and it doesn't shift in exact unison with the one on the other side, you're fucked. I don't know why I'm talking about this like it's a tutorial. Like anyone else is going to spend their time doing this. I think this is a better strategy. I think this is a much better strategy. Because if I begin to spread out the middle as well, ah. All right, I have, that's, uh, that's my timer to restart the camera. That means that you're all about to go blind. Oh no, welcome to the void. See, I wanna put blocks here, right? Like this. But this thing is way too unbalanced to do that. Those blocks are just gonna fall over. So I definitely can't do that. I'm gonna try and salvage this the only way I can think of to do so. I can't believe that worked. I don't know where I go from here. I need to move around blocks. Yeah, I kinda, I sorta figured that that would happen. Um, hmm, get out of here block. You're way too uneven, that one in particular. All right, I guess let's go again. Damn it, I accidentally bumped one of the pieces. Okay, I think that strategy is going to work, kind of. I hate these blocks. They're so uneven. Like, they look even from a distance, but as soon as you like try and stack them like this, you notice how like some of them are such slightly different sizes. So like, when you're doing a stack like that, it's completely unbalanced. Like not even like because of weight, because the block on top of it's literally tilted because, and it's obviously an exaggeration, but because one of the blocks is higher than the other. There's so many imperfections in these, which is understandable, that's probably part of the point when you manufacture a Jenga game, but it's so difficult to do this with. Whoa, okay, again with the center of mass here. Again with the center of mass here. Well, it's obviously off now. <laughs> what the hell? I just, I don't understand. If I have those blocks there, can I go ahead and put the blocks here? No, no, of course not. Of course not. What if I put a second block here, like that? Can I put the blocks on then? Hey, that actually works. Which is really good, because now, I can try and do this move again. Oh my god, really? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put like a support beam here for more weight in the center, because that looks very precarious, precarious at the moment. Okay, again, I'm going to have to adjust all of this when it gets up there, but nope, never mind, fuck that block, it has to work like this, I cannot balance that. Come on. Oh my god. 
Okay, get this on there fast. I need this weight on here like now. That's not helping, I don't think. Oh my god, okay. Um, so this is a thing now. Hey, it's actually beginning to look even. Okay, so adjusting after the fact is apparently quite important. Now, I can maybe take this block off? Yes, okay. Now the reason for me doing that is because I can build the same structure right there. But now what do I do? Um, in order to do this again, because I would love to do it again, I would love to complete a third layer and make it a bit wider. So I want to put blocks here. There's no way the center weight can hold that. Oh, but I can build the center out now without having to worry about the consequences. As long as I keep it balanced. Fuck you. Oh. Whew. Okay. That was terrifying. Yeah, you can tell that this thing's center of mass is very off if I can do that. If I can remove a block from the left side and it's still standing. I knew there was something going weird here. Okay, maybe I don't need the support block on that side. The thing I don't like about this is because of the way this one's working right now, it's just like freestanding. This whole like segment right here is actually just freestanding, balancing on this on its own. Unlike this one, which is actually connected to some of these blocks and is actually making physical contact using balance and resistance for stuff. I don't like the way that this is going. Oh my gosh, that is an incredible difference. There's so much more of this block leaning out to the side than there is from this one. So this entire top structure is too far to the left. So I have to somehow build it with that in mind and somehow figure out how I'm going to build this thing out a little bit more without keeping that, or without putting a block there. Because if I do, this thing will fall over or it will be close to falling over. And, and it's just, it's so imbalanced. It's so imbalanced right now. You know what, I'm gonna take the cheap way out for now. I'm just gonna put one block up there. I do not like what just happened. In fact, actually, let me just do it this way. That's the easy way out. Because I do not like what just happened. The, this block here is on uneven footing, I think. So it almost fell over there when I did that. So I did not like that, I'm not, not doing that. Um, See, the whole goal of what I'm trying to do right now is add more weight here so that when I put blocks here, these don't fall down. And I'm sure that there's enough weight at this point, but maybe not. But I do have enough weight there, which adds more weight there. So now I should be able to do it. Let's just hope for the best. Oh my gosh, that is so precarious. That is so horribly precarious. But it worked. It worked. Oh my gosh. How do I do this? Okay, can I? Oh, I hate that. I can put a block here on just one side and it doesn't fall over because of how unevenly weighted this thing is. That's awful. Okay. Fuck. All right, I think that that might be the last one that I build. I, how long do I have left on this current timer? Two minutes and I only have 30 minutes until I need to leave for work, so yeah. I hope this has been entertaining. I don't think I really accomplished much. This was, I know this was a bit of a weird one. Like I said, I hope it was entertaining because it most certainly was not as fun as I thought it would be to do this. This was excruciating, if I'm honest. This was quite excruciating to do. So yeah, I'm just gonna build a normal tower like a normal person 
and move on with my day real quick. I say build a normal tower like a normal person as if this is something that normal people do. Building towers out of Django blocks instead of playing Django with friends in their spare time. But this is Theobodium, where we innovate on life and YouTube, do things that have never been done before. People have never stacked blocks before on YouTube. That's, I guarantee that. That's just such a revolutionary thing. Okay, there we go. I built a normal tower like a normal person would instead of building an upside down tower that's completely unbalanced. Now, it would be kind of cool if I could just flip this over. Shut up, Alarm. I know that I have maybe about 60 seconds left on the recording. Thank you for watching. You should go be uncomfortable because being uncomfortable is awesome. Doing weird things like this can make you feel more comfortable in your own shoes when you do things that are uncomfortable. So yeah, go do that. Um, and also this video wasn't just slightly uncomfortable, but it was also frustrating. I don't really know what good can come out of that, but hopefully it was entertaining. And I uh, will catch you in the next one.